guys. Welcome to the Leah Noel Design Co. YouTube channel. I'm Leah and I'm a decorative furniture painter. Today I'm going to show you guys how to prep your furniture for paint. So it's really important to clean your furniture really well. So the product I'm using today, this is Dixie Belle White Lightning. Um, I mix two tablespoons, um, actually like one or two tablespoons in a bottle with hot water. Um, and I just use this as my cleaner all the time. So this is what I'm going to use on this piece. I have a clean, wet, like damp rag that I'm going to use to clean it as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the whole thing down. Just, I'm going to make sure I spray in all the nooks and crannies so it drips. And I'm going to spray and clean the inside as well. Once it's sprayed, I'm just going to wipe it down like I was cleaning my countertop. And you can see with just one wipe, um, how much dirt, grime, and oil comes off of your pieces. You don't want to paint over this because a lot of this is uh, build up from like this piece being pledged and oiled and really cared for over the years. And so we want to break down all that oil so that the paint will stick. Our paint is water-based, so it's not going to stick to a piece of furniture that's, that has a lot of oil on it. So we really want to just clean it off. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean it really thoroughly. <laughs> You can see it needed a good cleaning. After I use my white lightning, I want to re I want to rinse the cleaner off really well with just clear, plain water, and I want to rinse it like kind of like when you wash your hair and you get all the shampoo in your hair and then you rinse it out. I want to rinse this white lightning off this piece like I'm rinsing shampoo out of my hair. So I like to use what I have on hand. So I just grab a new rag. I always grab a new rag that doesn't have any white lightning on it. And I just use my spray mister that I use um, in my, on, like with my furniture finishes. I just use this and I'm just gonna douse it. All right, once I've sprayed it all with water, I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna wipe it with a rag. Okay, so if you can see my rag is really dirty and this was clean white before, so that tells me that I do need to clean this piece one more time. Um, I just wanna make sure I get all the oils off it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it one more time and then we'll be back to prime it. And our piece is clean and it's dry. You can already see um, it took some of the color out of the wood. Um, this piece just had a lot of oil on it. It was really well uh, taken care of over the years. It was actually at my parents' house. So I know it was oiled a lot because I did it a lot as a kid. I had to oil all the antiques. Um, and so now this piece is just ready for a new design and it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a clear coat of boss on it. So what boss stands for, it's from Dixie Belle, blocks odors, stains, and stops bleed through. So really what this is gonna do is this is gonna be a primer. This is gonna stop any kind of like the oily tannins coming through the wood. Um, it's gonna stop it from happening and it's gonna give it a really good base coat for the paint to adhere to. Dixie Belle paint, which is what I use as a chalk paint, and it really doesn't have any problem adhering, so you don't need a primer. I just prefer a primer because I feel like it gives me a better quality piece, so I always use primer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you an example. I go ahead, I just use my, um, this is a mini synthetic brush. I just use it straight from the jar. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just prime this piece. While I am priming, um, if you can, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will have new content for you weekly on how to paint furniture. All right, so I'm just gonna go through, totally prime this whole piece. Thank you for watching. I will be sure to post a video or a picture of the finished product. 